Megan's The Bench sales hugely overshadowed by Duchess Vogissio and Cookbook. Meghan Markle's debut children's book The Bench has been overshadowed by the sales of her previous publications, a guest-edited edition and a cookbook to raise money for the survivors, according to reports. Meghan made her literary debut at the beginning of June when she released a poem she had first written for Prince Harry back in 2019 as an illustrated children's book. The 167-word book did top the New York Times bestseller list for children's picture books and was briefly number 5 on Amazon's UK children's books list, but it fell out of the top 100 list for Amazon UK within a week. After a series of mixed reviews from buyers, and despite an average four-star rating, the book-selling giant then slashed the cost of the picture book from £12.99 to £8 on the UK site. It also shifted only 3,212 copies in its first week. Referencing data allegedly shared on Publishers Weekly, Royal Watcher UK Royalty claimed on Twitter that the book has only sold 30,000 copies more than a month after it was released. The account claimed, Meghan for staying on the bestsellers lists as long as she did, but she's off now and only sold around 30,000 copies. Definitely not the volume expected for someone with her profile. The account also pointed out that this number was only 0.3% of the followers the couple accumulated on their shared Instagram account, Sussex Royal. Despite being inactive since March 2020, the couple still have 10.2 million followers on this platform. It was also hailed as the fastest-growing Instagram account when it was first launched in 2019 breaking the Guinness World Records as it gained 1 million followers in just 5 hours and 45 minutes. But a more suitable comparison might be Meghan's Together Cookbook, first unveiled in September 2018. It made many headlines at the time, as it was her first major work as a member of the royal family. It also made a staggering £557,638 for the Grenfell survivors of the Hub Community Kitchen after the Royal Foundation invested £232,551 on refurbishing the kitchen of Al Man'a, the Muslim Cultural Heritage Trust, and on training and development schemes. The cookbook sold 130,000 copies worldwide as of March 2019 and the income was reinvested by the Royal Foundation, while the women who worked on it gained 23 qualifications. The following year Meghan amazed royal watchers again when she guest-edited British Vogue ahead for the September issue. It was the fastest-selling issue in the history and sold out in 10 days, making it the best-selling issue of the decade. It was also the first time in the magazine's 103-year history that a September issue was guest-edited. Editor-in-Chief Edward Eninfall also told Meghan, You have an editor's eye, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. However, there is still time for the bench to pick up in sales, as it was published just weeks ago. It's worth noting already had a solid audience base with a circulation number of 192,000 according to the statistics at the time, while its readership was approximately 861,000. The bench could also pick up over time, according to an expert in publishing. Managing editor of the bookseller, Tom Tivnan, told, The aim is the long game as picture books tend to have a longer shelf life than adult titles. The idea is to keep them selling week in and week out and is not about a quick hit. Megan's was the best-selling picture book of the week, though, as it sold 500 more copies than Julia Donaldson's What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. The Duchess' work was also expected to be profitable for the publishers, Penguin Random House Children's as they have the rights to sell the English-language version around the world. They may sell translation rights to other publishers too, meaning the book could yet become a global success. The bench was already released in the UK, Ireland, US, Australia, New Zealand, India and South Africa in honour of Father's Day back in June. Prince Harry is torn between Meghan Markle and the royal family, after sacrificing everything for his wife, an expert has claimed. Palace insider Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, claims the Sussexes may face a fight for their marriage unless they can compromise. He told, 
Harry and Meghan seem to think they can coexist in these two worlds, the world of British royals and American celebrity. Harry is loving the American life now, but he's still in the honeymoon phase. I think coming back and seeing his brother, especially against the very moving backdrop of a memorial for their mother, will maybe make him question what he's given it all up for.